I have an immense amount of empathy for people who come into spaces and don't feel like they belong. I was the first person in my family to go to college. I was the first person in my high school to go to a conservatory. And at each stage was reminded of where I came from. Taking this job, it was exciting the possibility that I could lower the gates for people curious about electronic sound. The Computer Music Center at Columbia has one of the world's largest collections of historical analog synthesizers. The best software in the world can't produce the sounds that come out of these synthesizers. For the last 20 years, students come in and view software that has emulations of historic hardware, but they've never touched a piece of hardware, and they find that very intimidating. Suzanne Thorpe and I put students into the Omnicept headset to track their biological reaction to seeing a technical space with that much historical equipment for the first time. What did they look at first? What did they get stressed about? And then using the knowledge we gather, we can design an introduction to the space that can reduce the fear of touching the equipment. Students who don't know the history don't know the pitfalls. Very often, I'll come into the studio and see a student who's set up something, and what they've done is magic. And I would have never have thought to do that. And if we can reduce the fear, we can get to that happy accident experimental stage that much faster.